Hello everyone, welcome to another English lesson. This lesson is for grade four and the topic today is right on time. My name is Diana Vukadin and I'll be your English teacher today. Let's start. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to understand the text about uh, telling the time while reading and listening to it. And you'll be able to make a poster about your own day. For today's lesson, you'll need a notebook and a pencil, a laptop, a tablet, a mobile phone, internet access, and a QR code reader. Keep in mind, you can pause the video lesson at any time, you can rewind it, and you can work at your own pace. Are you ready now? Okay, let's start then. Take a look at these pictures. What do they have in common? Što im je zajedničko? You're right. We use them to tell the time. Do you know the English word for this picture? What is it? You are right. It is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. What about this one? You can usually find it on the wall. You are right. It is a clock. And what about this one? My grandpa has one like this. Okay, this is called a cuckoo clock. Have you ever seen this one? We also use it to tell the time. This is a sundial. And the last one, I don't like it. It is an alarm clock, yes. It goes off at six o'clock in my case. What is the difference between a clock and an alarm clock? Take a look at the numbers. Okay, we have got two hands on this one, the small one and the big one. This kind of a clock is called an analog clock. And this one with numbers only is called a digital clock. Great work, everyone. You have already learned how to tell the time in the third grade. If you need to repeat it, you can follow the link bit.ly slash let's repeat or scan the QR code. If you want to watch this lesson again, pause the video lesson now. My best friend Peter needs our help. He needs to match the time on the analog clock with the times on the right. Can you help him? Oh, thank you so much. Would you please pause the video lesson now? And you can simply say the correct time aloud. And then we'll check it together. Pause the video lesson now and practice for a while. Shall we check the answers together? Here we go. What is the time? It is three o'clock. That's right. What about the next one? You're right. That's the correct answer. Half past four. And the next one? It's a piece of cake for you. That's right. It's six o'clock. Let's move on. What is the time? It's nine o'clock, easy peasy. And the next one, it's half past seven. That's right. And the last one is, it's half past 10. Peter says, thank you everyone. Now you're going to learn something new, how to tell the time with pizza. So it's pizza time everyone. If you want to learn how to tell the time, follow the link bit.ly, tell the time, or scan the QR code. Pause the video lesson now and enjoy it. It's pizza time. Hello and welcome back. How did you like the video? What is the time? You are right, it's pizza o'clock. And you are just right on time for some revision. 
Let's take a look at this clock together. Remember, when the big hand is on the 12th, we say a clock. When the big hand is on three, we say a quarter past. When the big hand is on six, we say half past. This is the green part. Now it changes. We count how many minutes there are before the next hour. So we say 25 to, 20 to, a quarter to, 10 to, and 5 to. And don't forget, say the minutes first and then the hours. Don't worry, we are going to practice it some more. Pause the video lesson now and copy the clock in your notebooks. Use different colors. Practice makes perfect, so let's practice a little bit. You can pause the video lesson now and follow the link bit.ly slash what's the time or simply scan the QR code. Play the game and see you in a while. Let's review what you already know. In this task, you need to draw the hands on the clock to show the time. Pause the video lesson now. Copy the clocks, draw the hands, and see you in a while to check the answers together. Shall we check the answers? Here we go. The first clock, it's 10 past 3. Check the hands. The next one, it's a quarter to 5. It's 7 o'clock. It's half past 4. Check the hands. Then it's 20 past 6. And the last one, it's 25 to 10. I'm sure you did well. Our friend Peter still needs our help. Can you help Peter solve the telling time problems? Pause the video lesson, carefully read the problems, and then in your notebooks, only write the correct time. Pause the video lesson now. And let's work on it together. Jane arrives at the cinema at quarter past six and has to wait 45 minutes for the next film to start. At what time does the next film start? What is your answer? Well done! Yes, at seven o'clock. Excellent work. Let's move on. It's 10 o'clock and you are going to meet some friends in 40 minutes. At what time are you meeting your friends? What is your answer? Oh, we've got the same answer. Excellent. At 20 to 11. What about Sarah? Sarah starts doing her homework at 10 past 2. She wants to finish it in 55 minutes. At what time does she finish her work? And your answer is... Yes, it is at 5 past 3. What about the last one? Siri goes for a walk at half past 8 and gets home one hour and ten minutes later. At what time does she get home? And the correct answer is at 20 to 10. Excellent work! You are so good at riddles. What is your daily routine like? Let's take a picture and remember some words for daily routine. 
have breakfast, go to bed, get up, have dinner, go to school, have lunch and do homework. But do you see that these pictures are a little bit mixed up? I need you to pause the video lesson now and copy the words for daily routine, but I need you to copy them in the correct order. What do we do first? You are right, first we get up. What do we do after that? And after that. So would you please pause the video lesson now and copy the words in the correct order. Pause the video lesson now. And these are the correct answers. First, we get up. What do we do then? That's right, we have breakfast. What do you usually eat for breakfast? And what do you do next? You go to school. Do you go to school on foot, by bike, or maybe by bus? The next one is to have lunch. What do you do after lunch? You are right. You do your homework. What do you do next? You have dinner. And in the end, what is the last activity? That's right. You go to bed. Don't go to bed too late. We have already helped Peter solve some problems. Let us read about his daily routine now. Let's read the text together. Peter likes waking up early. He gets up at 10 past 7. After that, he has breakfast at half past 7. Peter goes to school at a quarter to 8. He usually rides his bike to school, so he's always on time. In the afternoon, he has lunch at 10 to 1, and then he does his homework at 20 to 3. At 7 o'clock, he has dinner. Then, he sometimes plays video games. He goes to bed at 10 o'clock. He likes reading before falling asleep. Read the text again and finish the sentences in your notebooks. Write the time in numbers. Remember, you can read the text as many times as you want to. Pause the video lesson now. And these are the correct answers. Peter gets up at 10 past 7. He has breakfast at half past 7. He goes to school at quarter to 8. He has lunch at 10 to 1. He does his homework at 20 to 3. He has dinner at 7 o'clock. And he goes to bed at 10 o'clock. Great work. Although Peter is my best friend, I have two more good friends. They are Jan and Vito. Let us write about their daily routines. Pause the video lesson now. Look at the times, look at the pictures, and write the sentences. Use the words to write the time. You can take a look at the first example. Jan gets up at a quarter to seven. Pause the video lesson now and write the sentences in your notebooks. And we are back. Let us read about Jan and Vito. Jan gets up at a quarter to seven. He has breakfast at seven o'clock. He does his homework at half past two. He goes to bed at half past nine. And what about Vito? Vito gets up at ten past seven. He has breakfast at half past seven. He does his homework at three o'clock and he goes to bed 
at 10 o'clock. It's your turn now. Make a poster about your day. Draw the clocks and answer the following questions. What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you go to school? What time do you have lunch? What time do you do your homework? What time do you have dinner? And what time do you go to bed? You can add some more activities if you want to. When you are done, send it to your teacher. And here is an example that you can study. Remember Jan? This is his day. You've been really hard working today, so it's time to have some fun. And this is a board game for you. You'll play it with the dice. Pause the video lesson. You can play it with a friend as well. Roll a dice and move around the board. The first player to complete the board wins. Have fun! And your last activity for today is an exit card. How do you feel about today's lesson? And why do you feel so? Write the answer in your notebooks. If you would like to have some more fun, and if you are into singing, then you can follow the link bit.ly slash curious3 or scan the QR code and sing with Jack Hartman, or simply listen to some music and dance to it. If you are not into singing and dancing, then I've got something else for you. You can learn how to make a clock using paper plates. Simply follow the link bit.ly slash curious4 or scan the QR code. That's it for today. Thank you everyone for being so hard working and see you in a while. Bye bye.